I'm Noel. I'm Christian. And I'm Nicole. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the Leno, Leno family. family. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so it's been about seven, eight months since our channel has been up. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's super it's crazy. It's actually already? gone by like really fast too. Oh, wow. It has. Right? We've kind of just fit it into our schedule. Yeah, it'll be one year in July. Yeah, how do you guys feel about that? I Should have a big fun. celebration, like an anniversary. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So we decided to do an updated Q and A since that was our very first video. I feel like we should do like one, two, three of these a, a year, maybe. Yeah. Just maybe because like year. things are always changing with yeah. the family, and like right. you guys are always wondering some stuff. So here we are to answer it. We went ahead and posted on our community tab on YouTube and asked for questions. So I'll go ahead and do the first one, and we'll just kind of go around. Okay. okay. Any plans for summer 2024? <gasps> Ooh. Oh, what are you excited about? <laughs> okay, well, I graduate in June and we may or may not be going on a trip for my graduation. Oh. But let's keep it a little secret till it gets closer. But you guys okay. can guess where we're going. I'm also going to VidCon and my whole fam's coming, so. We don't mm. have anything in July planned. August, we're going camping. July, <laughs> it's your birthday, honey. Yeah, we can do something yeah. on your birthday. Well, who wants to go to Hawaii with me? I do. <laughs> <laughs> who would want to go? <laughs> but yeah, that's our summer plan so far. But the big one is Nicole's graduation trip. Stay tuned to find out where that is. And it's Yay. the summer before I start college. And it's the summer before Christian's fourth year in college. So this is three parts. Number one, how did Coley and Christian get such a good relationship? When it comes to the Lenos, I think it takes two. The relationship that Nicole and I have is definitely the result of the efforts from both of us ever mm. since we had this relationship. But I think it just came from when we were kids. I had to take care of Nicole or else my parents would get mad at me. And I've just learned to take care of Nicole and to deal with Nicole in a way that <laughs> we can have fun and I can still keep her safe. Yeah, I think just ever since we were little kids, we've just known to like look out for each other, stand up for each other, and just be close in general. Good. Constantly hang out and make an effort. And yeah. we've just always prioritized that as we grow up. Like I really felt that. Middle school, I think, I remember just thinking about our relationship. I was like, oh, wow. my sister really has my back. Yeah. And I just remember feeling the love from that and then wanting to try harder. Nice. Thanks. Oh, that's He's a good. Awesome. One. Ah, that's, that's good. Cute that you guys make like such a big effort. Yeah. <coughs> no, and, and the same thing goes with like our relationship with our parents too. Mm -hmm. It's like we just make an effort constantly. Like, like every single have indi individual time. Mm -hmm. I think okay. the most important thing is like uh, having each other's back. So. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Like if someone's making fun of you, then. Mm -mm. You're out, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're done. Yeah. Yeah. Second part of the question is: Do Mama Leno and Noel ever fight? Ugh. Oh man, all, all the time. time. <laughs> Any marriage, there's always gonna be some disagreements. Mm -hmm. You know, I think the most important part is we work it out together. You know, we're not gonna agree on things 100% all the time. So. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's what a relationship yeah, yeah, exactly. is. Right. Yeah. That's right. I think the most important part is that we come together in the middle and work it out. You yeah. know, there's a compromise that needs to be done. Doesn't necessarily mean he's wrong, doesn't necessarily mean I'm wrong. It's just that's how we both feel. Right. So we just kind of have to get to that point where we can just respect that's how each other feels and be aware of it. But yeah, we fight, unfortunately. But but it's not unfortunately, it's fortunately because then, you know, your relationship gets better after every fight. Correct. Supposedly. Yeah. yeah. You know? Those disagreements that make yeah. a relationship healthy or not. Yeah. I think any friendship relationship, like even me and you get into tiny little uh, arguments, but we always right. come out stronger in the end because, yeah. I don't know, I think they're meant to happen. That's right. Yeah. So that and you could both learn from Exactly, them. and so you try to avoid fighting about the same thing. Right. Yeah. You know, me and Sadie fight all the time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> he don't feed me. <laughs> Was that the last Look, look, she's right there. <laughs> she's looking. <laughs> she's like, we don't fight that. What are everyone's current favorite hobbies? Yeah, every time we have free time, all I want to do is go out to eat. <laughs> yeah, me too. That's your hobby? Yeah. Eating? I mean, I cook all the time, but I don't uh -huh. know if it's a hobby or just something I love to do for you guys. Uh -huh. But I just love going out to eat. I like having table conversations with you guys, checking right. in and just like having that time. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys can probably tell we just love food. So <laughs> <laughs> it's true. We just eat all the time with each other. Yeah. I mean, okay, but like individual hobbies, I guess for me, like dance or like making my own videos. Nice. Or Music. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> me, yeah. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Whenever there's a song stuck in my head, I have to play it or else it'll be stuck yeah. in my head. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he sings it. And he sings. And he sings, guys. He belts yeah, it. Yeah, I have yeah. proof because his room is right under mine. <laughs> like a different instrument every two seconds. Piano, uh, guitar, sing the whole time. Uh, <laughs> it's great. My hobby that I wanted was fixing up my car, but yeah. I think, you know, we just kind of gotten so busy that kind of just pushed to the side right now. And right now, the hobby is... <laughs> to film. <laughs> it's filming, like right now. Okay, that's good. 
Unless you I don't know why you gave me that look. <laughs> is it a hobby or an obligation? Unless well, you guys want to see uh, some FJ, FJ, FJ Cougar. Yeah. Are there any plans to go to Vietnam soon? Ooh. Oh. The hope is that we will be going um, and visiting first time as a family in mm -hmm. December. That's the hope. <laughs> December 24. Yeah. God willing, if all our schedules align yeah. and we're able to make it work, That's then, right. then yeah, then the Lena's will be in Vietnam in December. Ugh, I want to go so bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cause me and Christian and dad have not gone before. If you guys didn't know, Mama Leno is full Vietnamese, 100%. I always wanted to, because we went to the Philippines already, so mm -hmm. I want to see where she's from. And, well, she was born here, but. I was born in Leno. Yeah, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Just kind of see her culture yeah. and get some good learn food. Learn about our blood. Mm -hmm. Get some yeah, right? banseo. Yeah, and get some like corner. authentic yeah. Vietnamese food. Oh. Yeah. What made you start this channel? Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. Like three or four years ago, I just thought it would be fun to vlog our family mm. just to see. Cause you know, I think we're silly and I think I just want to show everybody how silly we are. I tried it and then I had somebody edit the video and then the kids were like, cringy. Yeah, it, just <laughs> it was corny. Yeah. 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 We, just, yeah. we tried it four years ago and we're like, nah, this ain't happening. Yeah. It's been a work in progress. Yeah, but I feel like all of us, we kind of knew like, it'd be cool to have a family channel. Yeah. And it'd be cool if we actually like got to do it, but right. we just didn't put it all together until last summer. Yeah. Once we did, we're yeah. Sticking with it so far, so. I know, it just felt like finally the right time and then we yeah. ended up being able to get a, an awesome editor to help mm. us launch it. Yeah. Right. And so he made it really easy. So shout out to Vincent. Shout out Vincent. <laughs> and cool, so um, <laughs> it was time, yeah. but we want, we've been wanting to do it. And I think what it is too is because Nicole does her videos. Yeah. And it kind of like captures her life. And I think if we wanted to do the same thing so we can capture the way, you know, especially the vacations and when we're spending time together. So we can always like look back and see the footage and just kind of just you know just reminisce and you know how good it was yeah because you, know, you know a lot of times when we record videos it just kind of just goes into the hard drive and mm, we, we don't really about. like we forget about it and i mean that's honestly why we record right? yeah. this is where it all started we kind of just do it because we want to look back on it Right, exactly. The amount of times we watch back Philippines vlog or like mm. yeah, 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 like or the Spain vacation ones or, or Spain Bali, vlog. Yeah. yeah, those ones are always like good ones. Whatever, like wherever we went. Those are the uh -huh. best. Advice on how to take care of yourself when college is so stressful. When you're going through like a rough time with like school and it's all overwhelming, like what do you do to kind of just? I use it now too when I'm like stressed out. So when you're stressed out, you kind of have to like release that energy. And so what you do is you have to move, right? So moving can be just like walking, like walking Sadie. I do it every morning and then I work out. I mean, I work out at home. I just have my own barbells and a, and a bench right there and I just do Dumbbells. it. Dumbbells. Dumbbells. And uh, yeah, I think you, you have to move. I mean, it could be walking, it could be running. That is a good stress like, reliever. It yeah, is. it really is. You know, especially Mondays, right? It's like, you know, that's when like the most anxious day when people are. I think that's actually a very important point considering a lot of college students may be all online. Mm -hmm. If you're all online, mm -hmm. you got to get outside. Yeah. That's so true. COVID taught us we got to go outside. Mm -hmm. So yeah. get your stuff out of the way so you can make time for quality time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the most important thing. Don't do too much quality time. Don't be doing all hanging out and no studying. But mm -hmm. like, it's still important if you're going to grind. To, to release. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I mean, I'm not nice. in college yet, but just school in general, or like whenever I get stressed, it usually means I need to like take a step back and maybe hang out with my family or friends. I put too much on my plate, so I kind of need to like find that balance, like Christian was saying. So uh -huh. yes, try your best every single day to get whatever you can done, but at the same time, you also need like the rest that's mm -hmm. necessary and right. to balance it out with prioritizing time with your family and friends, so. That's right, and especially when you're already burnt out, yeah. you can't do anymore. Exactly. Right. Like, that's that it. Sucks, yeah. you have to like remove yourself from the situation mm -hmm. and then come back when you're a little bit more rested right. Right. because you're you're useless to yourself when yeah. you're in that state. Yeah, Anyways. it's just not beneficial mm -hmm. to anyone at that point. Yeah. yeah, so go take a break, go outside, take a walk, get some fresh air. What trip had the best food? Ooh. Bali was pretty Bali good. Bali was really good. Bali was pretty good, yeah. I think good flavors. Nasi goreng. Yeah. Their yeah. chicken was pretty good, right? You need some nasi goreng. No, Bobby Gooling. Bobby Gooling. Oh, wait, and the which one's That's, nasi goreng? The, the fried, fried rice. rice. Fried rice, okay. Yeah. The one from the buffet mm -hmm. with the fried yeah. egg. Okay. Yeah, that was so good. I because it was so new, we never had it before, right? That's I true. Like the flavors were so, so like. Yeah. Hot! On another level. Yeah, I love spiciness. So. I know. Yeah. Favorite movie or show to watch as a family? Blended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, movie, yeah. Any Adam Sandler movies? Yeah, the way yeah. those eat that up. Yeah, specific yeah, specific right. ones. 51st Days. Days. Yeah. Yeah. Blended. Grown Ups 1 and 2. Grown Ups Blended. Yeah. Blended. Yeah. Blended is like the best one. Yeah, I guess. It's like on that. top. Adam Sandler, you know, his humor is it's kind of. Like our son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's right. dad it's jokes. family friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's family oriented humor. Yeah, it's very Some people like cannot watch it. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. They think it's so it's, cringy or yeah, just like they corny. can't handle it. But we think it's hilarious. Yeah. All those movies usually on like Rotten Tomatoes, they always get like oh yeah, they do well, so 50%, bad. Fifty percent, less than fifty. But we love that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, why is she getting fifty percent? You know what else we really liked in the past year? What? Hunger Games. Oh. We would like okay. we would all sit in the family room together and then watch oh, yeah. like binge watch. Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> We're starting to watch the more sophisticated movies. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, they don't know. Guys, he was imitating Caesar Flickerman in Hunger oh, Games, no. like his laugh. That's why yeah. he did that. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's right. So. Eddie Christian always does the impression of Doug. Oh, from, from, from 51st Dates. Oh, he just has a lift. <laughs> yeah. Give me my pussy face. There's this guy inside this movie and he has a lift and they like when <laughs> Check those movies out if you want to have a good time. <laughs> if you want to have a good time. How do you think your parents will adjust to you being off at college? Honestly, I don't think it'll be too much of a struggle. Just because growing up, they've always been around? like really, yeah, like around. Let's just see the first week what she decides to do with herself. <laughs> yeah. I just feel like Let's like see. if I get an apartment or like a dorm, like mom will still be over like all the time. Yeah. So like it in won't the, be in like the other... change. Like she always jokes, but it's not a joke. She's like <laughs> wherever Nicole goes, I'll go with her. I'll buy a house like right next to where she's living. She will do that. <laughs> but like I'm not, I'm not opposed because like I still <clears throat> want to be close to them anyway. So I know I find it funny because people always think because I'll say something like that and they'll implying that you don't want me around. Uh -huh. People think that I'm only staying close because she's making me or something like that. Uh -huh. Like genuinely no, like <laughs> I just want to be close to my family. <laughs> so like that's why I only applied to California schools. I want to stay close by. Yeah. Save Disney ride and food. Well, Ooh, my favorite good. ride is in California Adventure. It's Guardians of the Galaxy. And then my favorite food is either turkey leg, pickle, or Dole Whip. Ooh. <laughs> she's what honestly about, all about cream cheese? <laughs> like, two bangers, cream cheese pretzel and grilled cheese video. Oh, oh. honestly, cream cheese pretzel like, not that high on my list. Oh, really? Oh. You introduced that to me. I know, but you really like oh, Okay, go ahead. What's your favorite? Brand? It has to be the cream cheese pretzel, mm. the grilled cheese, the birria grilled cheese, which is a seasonal <laughs> item. That is so good. good. Turkey legs from Mama. Mm -hmm. off, How about you, big guy? Oh, just the pickle. It's so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, In the first quarter of the day. The first quarter. Later. And then we'll get it two yeah. hours later, yeah. and even maybe a third one. That's right, put some tahini on it. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, you know, I do like Indiana Jones. Heaven oh, in my mouth. Oh, fun. Yeah. I don't like the bug part. <laughs> right? I'm gonna say uh, Space Mountain. Mm. Yeah, that's always a favorite. So. It's a good one. Okay, my favorite ride is Jungle Cruise. <laughs> oh. I'm I just, like, we need to go on Jungle Cruise. We I just always have a good time on it. And I, okay, look, they say the, the most joke. corniest jokes, and mom laughs at each one. Because <laughs> yeah. it's funny. I honestly just laugh at you laughing at them. Because I'm like, these aren't funny, but she's so happy. So, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. my favorite fate is the turkey leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah, turkey leg. Yeah. Turkey legs for life. life. How do you guys get back together after an argument? We've had like an intervention <laughs> at least one time for each person in the family. <laughs> we had like eight bombs that went off in our house. Okay, basically we just come together, address the problem, and see what we can fix. Why don't you it. give them an example? What? Well, who wants to be the yeah. victim? <laughs> <laughs> the victim? <laughs> we know when somebody in our household isn't at their best or they're affecting themselves and affecting the family with how they're acting. Right. And things have to change for their <clears throat> well-being and for the well-being of the family. The family. And mm -hmm. so when that happens, then we take it very seriously and we like all come together and we're just like, look, dad's acting this way. We need to make sure he's kinder with his words or, you know, just these are just examples. Not you're the really. one who said. You yeah, you're the one who said. So those yeah. eight bombs with me. Yeah, no, no. But you know, things like that. It's never just like one on one or uh -huh. three against one. Sometimes if, right. if Well, no, yes, yeah, that's, that's I feel like yeah. that's different. I feel like what, how do we come together after like a subtle argument where like, like sometimes Nicole and I will have a little argument or likewise, or just any one of my parents I'll have an argument with, or maybe they're fighting, they're fighting. How do we how do we reunite the family? With a smaller fight, I feel like we're all just good at keeping each other in check. We'll we'll just be like, yo, Christian, like There's always someone that tells you to say sorry. Yeah. One of us will. Yeah. If I see Nicole like acting out of line, sorry. then that's not okay. Yeah. yeah. And you need to act better, you need to act right, and you need to apologize and be better. Yeah. I think <clears> the best <throat> way for us is just to say exactly what we feel in the most respectful way, yeah. if respectful possible. Way. And at least we can say our feelings 
things out loud yeah. and try our best to understand how each other feels. Doesn't necessarily mean he's right or I'm right completely. We just have to hear each you other's just have feelings. To at least listen to each other. Yeah. Yeah. And understand. Yeah. And if we can at least get to that point, then we're okay. At least know what you're mad about. <coughs> you know what yeah. I'm then we're just like, okay, we disagree. That's okay. We, yeah, but I, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. Exactly. Yeah, I yeah. think the most important mm -hmm. part is like being able to talk to each other in a calm manner. Like, look, this is what is in happening and way. how can we fix yeah. it? And yeah. like, both of us can be happy again. Yeah, but to be able to communicate and actually say how you feel and how the other person is making you feel is really important because how are they supposed to know? Right. Yeah. How are they supposed to know to make it better if someone doesn't tell them? And it's hard too, because like sometimes you gotta like choose the right words to say, right? And then you gotta watch the tone too. And being rational inside of a conversation. If you it's want true. change, it's true. You have to change. If you're not gonna change, <laughs> someone told me. No, if nothing, not, changes. Not, if nothing changes. If nothing changes, nothing, nothing, nothing changes. changes. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys watched the last podcast episode, you know what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if nothing changes, nothing changes. So. Hopefully that answered your question. We were kind of all over the place, but. Okay, how was our childhood different than the kids? Big ones for me is you had like a parent around. Yeah, mom stayed at home. My mom and dad worked so much. God bless them. You know, they had to do what they needed to do with the five kids. You guys always had me around. Mm -hmm. yep. The room mom, like always volunteering and just like any activity me and Christian did. She was my soccer coach, Christian's mm -hmm. baseball coach, like anything. <laughs> mom was- Girl it. Scout. Yeah, my mom and dad didn't have everything that we have right no, we now, didn't. obviously. No. Like, yeah. they didn't get to travel as much as we nope. do. You guys can be privileged, but what we don't want is for you to be entitled. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So Correct. it's like, to make sure you guys are always grateful, humble, and you know, know that your life is a, a really big blessing. I think like Linda, my mom and dad also work. You know, so it was just me and my sister. I see Nicole and Christian, like me and my sister, were very close, even though my mom and dad worked a lot too. So, you know, there are other opportunities that we wanted to do, but we couldn't because you know, we couldn't afford it. So one thing they taught me, just that family dynamic. It's always like, if you have a problem, you know, you tell us right away and we'll work it out together. Yeah. That was really helpful how they yeah. raised you guys too, because when I saw you guys as a unit, mm -hmm. I was like, whoa. I mean, I like my family, but we're not like trying to have family meetings or sure. like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that actually guided us to help with our communication with you guys that right. it's like really important. Yeah. So yeah, we had like family day every Sunday. And yeah, yeah I was like, what is that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like Why us. are they together all the time? Sounds like us. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. we hang out like almost all the time. Well, Sunday I know is family day. Yeah. yeah. Sunday, so that, you know, is like church and then lunch. Um, and, yeah. yeah. So that's what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to take what works from yep. our family over to yours Correct. and what didn't work, and yeah. then you can make it better. Like, you know what I mean? So I guess that's that's the advantage of. Years. Yeah. Well, we love you guys and good job on raising. Yeah. Them. I love you. You're two angels. <laughs> two angel pies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about each other, like a personality no. trait? Let's start with dad and then okay, we'll go around. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see. Go you're ahead. such just, a just goofball. Like, shower you're, like, me. Shower. Shower. <laughs> you're a big goofball and like I love hanging out with you oh, because boy. I just like always smile and laugh oh, with you. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like how you make me feel about myself. Oh, really? stop it right now. That's so cute. Oh, oh my God. So single. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the one time we were at Top Golf and they were just hugging, and I like literally started crying because they made me feel so single. No, it's not about Holy me. Though. No, but uh -huh. that's so sweet. Oh my god, are you gonna cry? No. <laughs> 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 Let it out, girl. No, but you you make me feel like I'm cute or something. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, honey. You make me feel like taken care of. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah like, such a good, good like protector, dad, mm. oh, protector wow. of the house, mm. the family, uh -huh. Sadie, like yeah. Oh. So what I was gonna say, I like how Dad teaches me how to control a situation, not like in a manipulative manner, but in the manner that I see that he's able to create an environment for <clears throat> our family wherever we are, and I see how he maintains that environment, and because of that environment <laughs> that no one notices, we all are able to just let loose and have fun, and yeah. it's because. He keeps us safe. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's some nice Aww. words. Very sweet. Very this sweet, guys. really sweet. Yeah. He paid us to say yeah. <laughs> We're being forced, you guys. I'm just kidding. Well, what I like about myself. <laughs> <laughs> Very Mommy. Sweet. Okay, well, for me, you make me feel like the most special person in the whole wide world. Mm. Like, you make me feel cute and like everything I <laughs> you do, <are>. you're, just, <laughs> you're just like there for me, like for everything, and I just like appreciate you. Oh my god, I don't want to get a 
But yeah, you're just like my everything. Like I just want to be like you when I'm a mom. Oh, okay, oh, wow. okay, move on because I'm gonna cry. I call mom the most rational person in my life, mm -hmm. just because everything I've told this before. Everything she does has a reason. Everything that she says to me, there's a reason. Any conversation that we have, she'll never, she'll always hear me out. She always has a reason behind something, behind her decisions. She knows what the right thing to do is. Yeah, you're really wise. Like, I don't know how you know it, like, she'll, any answer to everything. She never leaves a situation where, she'll always say sorry for something that she needs to say sorry for. She always says sorry. She always takes accountability. Yeah, just the most rational human being I know. Thanks, bud. That yeah. was very sweet. <laughs> Other than the most prettiest. Oh, okay. <laughs> she always puts us first. You know, it could be like food on the table. She'll say that, oh, I'm not hungry anymore. But then... <laughs> Obviously yeah. she's hungry. She just yeah, gives yeah. her food away if she we're hungry. Gives her, yeah, she gives, it, so she gives it to me because I eat a lot, so... <laughs> yeah, oh. dad will eat his whole plate, yeah, yeah. my leftovers, my <laughs> leftovers, and then mom will go, are you still hungry? Yeah. And give away her food. Yeah. And, Ma self, and selfish me will just like... Just <laughs> <laughs> That's just the bigger one too. So mama makes us feel loved and cared for. Right, right, right. You know, and then she's just really funny to me, so. <laughs> She makes me laugh, so. Oh my God. And uh, yeah. she gets my humor. She makes fun of me and. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I noticed when dad laughs the most at your jokes, it's like when you're making fun I of him. I know, he, he likes like, it. so funny. Uh, People uh, always go, you clown on him too much. I'm like, listen. But he loves it. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, guys. That was very sweet. I know, very sweet, you guys. That was, that was a, a good, good question. question. I think this is a good one to end on. Yeah. Because, you know. Yeah. Um, okay, Christian. Christian has always been the most like caring and supportive brother like he is like my person like any situation i'm so glad that he's with me because i just feel safe and protected and like we have this like comfort with each other that i will never have with anyone else and i just like know i can always confide in him and he just mm -hmm. he's just always there for me and like i just love him like no other person like that feeling of just knowing we have each other. like little kids at the playground just knowing i have a sibling right, to be comfortable right, right. with yeah 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 he is an exceptional brother for real. to nicole he is always there for her he's her biggest support genuinely loves his sister and I, I'm so grateful for that to me he has like such best friend energy I love going out to eat with them I love spending time with them I love talking to him he's actually super super funny too he's so funny he's so funny and it shocks me sometimes <laughs> like well, I, I didn't know you're funny no I know he's funny but sometimes he's so funny I'm like oh my god <laughs> like, I can't That's even laugh like, it's... she does that a lot and I'll be straight with you you're the only one who thinks I'm funny in that situation <laughs> Well, that's, yeah. and, and I love it. It really makes me feel funny. Yeah. Like, but, it's hilarious. Oh, no, but you are, you are funny. Well, yeah, we grew up watching Spongebob together, Mom. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I call him a lot to even spill a little tea. I call him a lot to just to talk about random. I love that I can call him without having to talk about something specific. It can just be about anything um, random. And that's how we are, too, when we're eating. It's just kind mm -hmm. of like talking about anything and everything. And that's why I said, like, best friend energy, because mm -hmm. I get to spill some tea to him. Not crazy too much, because you know, he can only handle so much, uh -huh. but I can do that with him, and I, I love that. Okay, what do you like about me, Dad? <laughs> Let me see, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> I think Christian is uh, probably the most talented person that I know. I agree. Wow! I agree. You give him something and he'll pick it up and do it. A few minutes. A, yeah, in a few like, minutes. Literally. It's not me, it's just like, you know, like piano, any instrument. Now he was d doing saxophone, guitar, and then the Rubik's Cube. You know, it's just, just like anything. Anything, and Musical. then he works on it and he makes it easy. Once he puts his mind into it, he'll do a good job on it with accounting, right? Getting it, you're grasping it, coming from like instruments and then now business. Those of you don't know, Christian changed his major to business. Uh, right, you know, he's very, very talented. It's easy for him to take on things, so. I agree. Wow. I agree. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. That was a great compliment. Yeah. Thank you. So. This is ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Why did I that wasn't about you. I didn't say it to you. <laughs> That's not you. Okay, but can I just say, like, sometimes my dad and Christian's <laughs> heads, like, come out, All the time, you know? yeah, all sometimes the time. Like, just so, like, I don't know, it's no, yeah. really been, nice. We've been doing really good, though. No, yeah, because it's about the communication. You guys are yeah. getting better at it, so. Yeah, 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 You always see, like, the good things going on, but then a lot of times me and Christian butt heads, so. Yeah, but it's the work that we put in for us to be able to be like this. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Yeah. And now it's baby Cole. <laughs> Who wants to go first? I'll, I'll do it. Okay. Okay. 
he's back to back. He's on a roll. I know, back to back. <laughs> yeah. So I think the most thing about Nicole that stands out is her work ethic. Very disciplined, very good work ethic. She'll wake up early in the morning to finish a video. She'll work out so she can have content for the video. I thought I had good work ethic, yeah. but then, you know, just being her. No, for it's, real. Yeah, the hard work is just. I mean, she's another level. It is. I've never seen anything like it. And right. like to be consistent the way she is. Yep. I think all of us at one point, I thought mm -hmm. I worked hard. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, Nicole yeah. started doing her thing. Yep. You know, watching her, it makes me feel lazy. It's, it's, no! That's yeah. <laughs> Well, no, but yeah. if he's probably just saying that it inspires him to do more. Yes, correct. Yeah, okay, yeah. it's good. very, it's very motivational and inspiring. So I think <clears throat> my thing about her is just this heart that she has. It's so pure. That's what I'm like the most proud of. Is like all this extra fun stuff that she gets to do and stuff <clears throat> like that. But she really is so pure and just so love. She makes me feel calm when I'm sad. She's just like a human hug. I don't know <laughs> how to explain it. She's just really sweet and. And wow. really kind and she'll do anything for her family. Yeah, I just love you so much. Yeah. Love you guys. Yeah, and it's like yeah. it's so pure you wanna protect yeah. her from at all costs to yeah. keep that pureness in her. Mm -hmm. And for her not to get hurt because she's just so pure, you know, it's just like the love is so good oh, and you don't want it to get ruined by the outside. Yeah. So. Sure. And I think that's what's so important about like me being her manager, us being like pretty much her team. Her, like your team is because we know how pure and lovely you are. So it's like mm -hmm. we have to make sure you stay that way and that you don't. You're not protected from. From the outside. Yeah, yeah. and that you know you're just everything is on chat to make sure you don't steer away because it's very easy in what you do to kind of get off mm -hmm. a track and act a, a different way. Mm -hmm. Right. And like we know that's not who you are, and we're gonna do everything possible to make sure that you don't get off track and stay exactly how we'd love you to be, mm -hmm. how you are. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah. Work ethic is obviously a big one. You can't miss it with Nicole. Because yeah. even, you know, people ask me, how does she do it? I say, I don't know. She doesn't say <laughs> it. I, she's not real in my head. I can't think about her and rationalize that. But that goes into one thing that I envy of Nicole. It's that I feel as though in certain moments or just whenever we're out or just any time, she knows how to kind of turn off all the seriousness in the world and just start to have fun and just put herself in the present moment a little bit more. And it's something that I find myself find difficult in doing just turning off that part of your mind that needs to rationalize everything instead just let loose and smile a little bit on top of that <laughs> she's my little sister she's always made me feel like she needs me and I know she doesn't but uh, it's, yeah, I do. but it's yeah. nice to feel purposeful in the world she shows lots of appreciation when she's sweet she's <laughs> This pure little sister of mine. Thanks, yeah. guys. But yeah. when she's a terror. Well, I, she's a terror. As I was saying, she's so she's so pure. It's just once the world starts corrupting her. And that's yeah. why we're so protective of you because we've always been yeah. so protective over Nicole. Yeah. yeah. I used to be pure. And no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I love you so much. They love you too. Uh -huh. Okay, let's move on because I'm gonna like yeah. really sweat uh -huh. my eyes out. Oh, I love you guys all very much. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was I really wasn't good expecting question. all of that. It's all love. It's all love. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's what we're gonna end the Q and A. Yeah. Okay, well that was a really good Q and A, you guys. Yes, it was. Didn't know it was gonna go that direction, but yeah, really happy it did. Thanks to everyone who asked us questions. Let us know what videos you guys want next. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe to join the Leno family. <laughs> Come back next Sunday at noon. Bye. What? I think it's what. Favorite. Favorite.